Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm sharing with you my step-by-step -step process on how I drafted and sewed up my little swimsuit cover-up, which I believe is gonna make you feel confident and gorgeous for like half the price. First, I do wanna share with you that timestamps are in the description box, so feel free to go to any part of the video that you want to. However, I did feel like it was worth explaining because I am sharing with you the exact, I guess you could say, measurements for this draft that I did use my own body measurements. So in the description box as well, I'm sharing with you my own measurements, my height, all of that good stuff. Now, I would probably even go to say that this wrap or these measurements for this type of material, this type of swimsuit cover, up would fit in between a US size 2 and probably an 8 or 10. Now of course feel free to modify those measurements if you want your wrap to be a little bit smaller or if you want to be a little bit more loose. I'm using some tissue paper from uh, Amazon. I'll leave a link in the bottom so you can check that out. You will need tape, a pencil, an eraser, and if you have a yardstick ruler, that would come in handy since these lines are fairly long, but if not, no worries. You can always use your elementary school ruler as well. The length of this kimono is 45 inches long, so basically you're gonna wanna do a dot at the very top and go 45 inches down and draw another dot. For the bottom of your swimsuit cover-up, you just want to now draw a 13-inch line. Now from the bottom of your swimsuit cover up, you're gonna wanna draw a straight line of 34 inches and that is taking you right to the armpit. Now we're gonna draw a teeny weeny little line of 1 8th of an inch outwards away from our swimsuit cover up. Now from the armpit line, you're gonna draft another line going upwards at a slight angle of 11 inches. Now from that line at the top of your shoulder, draw a slightly slanted line of 13 and a half inches. So now you just have your neckline to fill. You could do that a few ways. You could just kind of eyeball it and do kind of like a portion of a, of a circle, right? Or if you have one of these rulers here, which I love, then you can make a pretty neckline. Then you can create your, your line, your shoulder line and the side of the swimsuit line just like that. Um, if you don't have that ruler, but you want a better line than just kind of filling it in, you can use anything circular or something simple as like one of these little paper plates there, right? And then just connect the lines like that. And there you have a super easy um, swimsuit pattern. And the nice thing about this too is you can also extend the sleeves if you want it a little bit longer. Later on, you can just play with it. So now you want to place your pattern on the fold and this is going to be creating the back of the kimono and then cut it out. And here's the back. So now you're basically going to repeat that step. Place your pattern on the fold and cut it out. This time after you cut it out, you're going to cut a line straight down the middle of the fold. Just like that, you now have the front two pieces of the front side of your swimsuit cover-up. With right sides together, place the front of your swimsuit cover panels on top of the back of the swimsuit cover. Because I'm using 100% silk chiffon, I do like to use the clips instead of my needles, although they do have special needles for um, more, I guess you say, delicate fabric. And then I am stitching across the shoulder. After I have pressed my seams, I go ahead and clip the sides of the swimsuit cover, starting from right below the armpit all the way down. And of course, I use a straight line stitch with the 5 8 seam allowance all the way down. Now you can leave it as is, but once I put it on my little bodice form here, I did want more of a v-neck look, so I went ahead and trimmed kind of like the top of the corner there. Now for the hems, that is for the front of the kimono, the neckline, the sleeves, and the bottom, I did just a simple double fold. 
which is what you see me doing here. And I am using an iron just because I feel like it keeps the crease a little bit better as I do my straight stitch all down the hems, around the sleeves, the bottom, and the front of the swimsuit cover. So don't you tell me to leave it. Sometimes I'd rather be alone, but that could change for your drawstring casing that is you know the thing that's going to actually hold your drawstring that's what we're going to pull the the drawstring through you want to measure the back of your swimsuit cover from side to side or you could say seam to seam and you also want to measure across both front panels of your swimsuit cover as well i used one inch wide drawstring casing for my drawstring casing, I went 14 inches below my neckline. I don't understand fully the desire to hear people call my name. I've got a city at my fingertips. For my actual drawstring, I basically used my tape measured, measured around my waist, and eyeballed about 46 inches long for my, my drawstring. Now for mine, I cut two strips of one inch wide, 23 inches long pieces of fabric and join them together by stitching them on the end with right sides facing together. Originally for my drawstring, I folded the drawstring once it was all attached together and then stitched a straight stitch down the entire drawstring. And my intention was to flip it inside out. However, I experienced extreme difficulties with this fabric in flipping it inside out. So I basically redid the drawstring and just went ahead and stitched it um, with the wrong sides facing together. And this is how it turned out. Now you can input a safety pin at one end of the drawstring and pull it through the drawstring casing in your swimsuit cover. And here you have it, my sewistas, your beautiful, your very own glamorous swimsuit cover up. I'm a city at your fingertips. All right, everyone, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If there is something that you would like to see, feel free to leave it in the comments below so that I can work on that in my next video for you. And I look forward to seeing you in my next post. Bye.